Things you may have seen but didn't know what they were. Ghost bikes, toy ponies at sidewalk rings, and statues wearing sweaters. Portland Shrines. Today I'm going to tell you about some things in Portland you may have seen, but didn't know what they were. Let's start with ghost bikes. Every once in a while, you will see a bike painted white, chained to a post with a collection of flowers and other gifts decorated around it, like a shrine. These are markers that indicate a bicyclist was fatally struck by a car nearby. Makes you think. Now, not all shrines are gloom. People have been playfully tethering their plastic pony toys to the turn of the century horse rings that still reside in the sidewalks, usually in residential neighborhoods. Is this street art? Is it city pride gone gonzo at the risk of creating trip hazards? We absolutely do not care. Next up, yarn bombing. Knitting sweaters for statues. People keep writing in, is this a thing? Yes, it is a thing. Someone knits clothing, but rather than give it to a human, they put it on a statue. And not like it's some Banksy thing. There are exhibitions of yarn bombing. The Oregonian in November 2013 wrote of the yarn bombing festival taking place in Pioneer Square. Even the most yarn ignorant soul on the planet can't help but admire the color, the creativity, and the skill involved in clothing these statues. Other media sources referred to it as graffiti, like it's hip or anarchy. Guerrilla culture jamming, old network takedown revival. We don't care what you call it, just bring out next fall's fashions. This is Shy Guy signing off. Thanks again, and as always, I'm Shy Guy. Check me out on my YouTube channel. If you like me there, love me everywhere. Like, love, subscribe, and share the good wardrobe word. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you so much again. Welcome to Portland, and until next time, Shy Guy out.